Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 8-box quick hit pick your team football mixer number 3. If you got at least two teams, you'll be able to win some break credit. Winner take all on that $250 of break credit. Very big thanks to everyone here. Matt with that last bot mojo, thank you. Thanks everyone for getting in. This is part of tonight's Monday Night Football Bounty promo. We just got to do one more break and we'll get there. We'll save Luminance for last. Let's get these, let's do these five Chronicle Blaster boxes. Mike's asking, what's the most money left on the table from a promo? I think we left, I don't know, to be honest with you, but I think recently, maybe four or five months ago, We had, um, I think it was like maybe $7,000 of break credit that was left on the table, but that also included like much more, much more expensive breaks. But we got close. I think we, we, we came down to like two or three breaks. And we, I think we even extended it like another night, the deadline, but didn't quite get there, so... Well, that money just gets recycled back into the promo budget and then saved for a rainy day, like today. There's a score, Zach Wilson. That will be for Chad Cromwell and the J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets. Not numbered. Jamar Chase, Elijah Moore, Michael Carter, and I'm pretty sure all cards ship in this, so everything you see will go. Poor Javante Williams, I think he did his ACL and LCL, I want to say. The L's? <laughs> you got me, Mike. Yeah, no, it never rains in Southern California. It pours. Isn't that the lyric? I don't know. I don't remember the lyric. Who did that song? I think that's... Uh, I think that's Albert Hammond did that song. It never rains in Southern California. Great little little folks, folk, folk song? Folksy song? Um, some of you may know his son, Albert Hammond Jr., as it turns out, who I believe is the guitar player, bass player, a stringed instrument player in the strokes. The garage rock revival band, The Strokes. Some Jalen Waddle, some Michael Carr. So that that like you can see the sort of pink sheen or fuchsia sheen right there. That's that's the cards exclusive to this set. If you find like one of the big quarterback names in that, that'd be pretty cool. Like Justin Fields. The Bears, that'll be for Daniel. And we got a just a base Trevor Lawrence for the Jags. That'll also be for Daniel. Poor Trey Lance. There's some Zach Wilsons. Mac Jones, Patriots, that goes to Dwayne. 
More Zach Wilson's. Wilsai. Trey Lance for the Niners. Daniel. Pretty comfortable win for the uh, for the Niners tonight. Will Justin Fields eventually develop in Chicago? <laughs> Mickey is saying, nah, we trash. Oh. Hey. I always I'm always optimistic. I, I try to be optimistic about that. I want things that are hashtag good for the hobby. What's got to change out there, Mickey? Is it is this just is just ownership making bad GM and coaching hires? Is this just does that have to? I guess they're trying to build a new stadium. Maybe they'll have some more money to throw around. I guess the hope was, you know, maybe Justin Fields can be part of like some Eaglesy type offense where they have a really great offensive line, definitely a run heavy attack, you know, so he doesn't have to throw as often and then, and then have, you know, a classically stout Bears defense, but I guess it's not happening at the moment. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that change of scenery will help Mike Tower. That's a possibility. It'll definitely be... You know, I mean, I think they're planning on a... It's, it's going to be a dome, right? So, I mean, that's, that's just less weather stuff that... I guess the opponents will, will you know... It's just less weather stuff to deal with. Yeah, he's scared to even try to throw, Mickey's saying. He has a bad offensive line. It's a shame. What do you think happens? You think, uh, you think, you, do they... Oh, he's Arlington's five, six years away minimum. I mean, he may not even get his fifth year picked up. It might just be, could be just change of scenery for Justin Fields. Maybe Bears trying to start over again, I guess. It's a shame, though. I mean, Bears, Bears being good, I think, is good for the sport. You know, team with a lot of history. Could be nice to have a team that maybe ch challenge Green Bay a little bit. Although once Aaron Rodgers is done, the power dynamic in the NFC North may shift. Yeah, Daniel's thinking maybe the Dome may help future Bears QBs. Maybe not Justin Fields. Nice. Here's a, you can see that, that sort of pink sheen right there. Trevor Lawrence, Jaguars, Daniel. Yeah, Mickey's like, I'll, I'll give him a year, man, but it's still hard to watch him being scared to throw. I don't know. So, I mean, if, if, it was, if it was up to you, Mickey, and other Bears fans, I guess, can weigh in, like, what do you, what, are you, what can they do? What would you like to do? Start over at QB, I guess. Kellen to 199. Not too many numbered cards in these things here. All right, fifth 
And final box of Chronicles. Five boxes remaining. One, two, three, four, five. Right. So we have we have one more of these mixers, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Just letting you know. Just pray, says Mickey. Yeah, no, I think Rex is just a well. Rex doesn't really follow football all that much. First off, but I think he he's just a Cubs fan. I suppose I think he would. We'd have to ask Rex maybe if he's listening, but. I think he, uh, I guess, suppose would default to being a Colts fan. I think a lot of his buddies are Colts fans. Yeah, one of one of my buddies out here, who is from originally from Chicago. Yeah, very, uh, very, uh, very depressed each each season about the Bears. I mean, as a, I'm a Raiders guy, and I'm I'm like stupidly, you know, optimistic every year about the Raiders. I mean, like, yeah, this is the year where it's just gonna click. It's gonna be great. You know, but my buddy's reached the point where it's just like, hey, football season. It's like, yeah. <laughs> but aren't you? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Excited about the Bears season. But training can. It's like, yeah. All right, that was the final box of Chronicles Blaster Edition. All right, a couple hybrid boxes, and then we'll close with the 2022 Luminance box, and we'll give away some money. Just four packs right now, four packs. How's that last break doing? Oh, we're running out of time, boys and girls. We've got nine spots left in that Spectra filler. That's got to fill in the in 20 minutes. Otherwise, break credits off. Promo is closed. It's a hard deadline. Bears, White Sox, Bulls. Just take me to another city. The Bulls aren't so bad. There's Bulls. Bulls have shown signs of life. They got into the playoffs last year. Should be a fun team to watch. I, you know, I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like Tua's personality is is pretty tough. Abe, I don't know when he's gonna make a comeback. I could see him missing multiple weeks. But I don't know if, if if he wasn't. I feel like if he like came back after that first week, where the alleged back injury, you know, was probably more of a concussion. There's Davis Mills right here. That's the disco pattern. That's exclusive to these hybrid sets. He wasn't scared to come back the very next week. All right, I guess the Bears were in the playoffs. So. So I feel like if if he can, he will. There's Amari Rogers. And another Davis Mills, three out of twenty-five this time.
Texans. That's for Matt. Ramondre Stevenson for the Patriots. That's for Dwayne. Yeah. Now whether whether it's a it's a wise move for him to come back and play, I don't know. But you know, you don't get to be the QB of a major college program and then. You know, and then uh, end up getting drafted in the NFL by by being scared. Well, I guess you guess you could become scared. Mickey saying that Justin Fields can't doesn't throw because he's scared, but Tua doesn't seem to show that kind of fear. He's slinging it all over the place. How wise is it for him to come back? I don't know. Final box. But that's what he did. I mean, you're a football player. That's what you do. Could he, could he not come back? Would he say, that's it? I'm just going to hang it up? <laughs> Have him wear one of the, uh, what do they call that? The, it's like the, it's like the, it's a, it's a hat on a hat. But the, those, uh, those foam caps on the head, I don't think that's, I don't think that's game day regulation, Mike Tower. <laughs> or the NFL may just change the rules and just be like, if you two-hand touch the QB, then uh, then he's down. Then it's a sack. We got a Traylon Burks. To 249, Titans, Allen. And Davis Mills. Two color patch, eight out of 25. Last spot, Mojo Matt. We got a savage, Darius Leonard, who I think is back from injury, maybe? 21 out of 50. 11 out of 50, that's Kenneth Walker the third, KW3. I don't know if they call him that, but I'll call him that. Nico with the Seahawks. And we got a Tyler Goodson, 21 out of 50 for Green Bay. James with the Packers. Excuse me, my throat's drying up a little bit here. Alright. Got a little lozenge. It's Kyler Murray to 149. And we've got Isaiah Spiller, 34 out of 299 for the Bolts. That's for Nico and the Chargers. Kyler Murray will go to Daniel. Sheesh. Lamar Jackson. AJ Terrell, 003 out of 249, and Christian Watson. Year one on card autograph. And Christian Watson, kind of blinking on where he's going. So, wide receiver for the Green Bay Packers. Was he the one that got that pass from Aaron Rodgers and it was. Kind of in his, pretty much in his bread basket, but it went through his hands. That might have been him. All right, and that, my friends, is that. 
Travis Kelsey uh, vestige card. All right. Now, let's see who's going to win that money. So let's flip back to the page here. If you got at least two teams, basically if you follow the instructions, two teams, one entry, four teams, two entries, take, a, take all those entries, randomize them, name on top, winner take all, $250 of break credit. So let's sort by column A. Alan bought two teams, that's an entry. Chad, you got three. Two still count for the purpose of the promo, that's an entry. Daniel got 10. Five of those are entries, just basically by an even number of teams and half become entries. EJ, two teams, one entry. James, two teams, one entry. Nico Martin, 10 teams, five entries. All right, so let's make sure I got everybody. Yes, Nico, no Matt, yes, James, yes, Eric, no Dwayne, yes, Daniel, no Chris, yes, Chad, and Alan. And I got five and five for these guys. All right, good luck. New dice, new list. Winner take all, name on top, $250 of break credit after nine. Six and a three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time after nine. It's Daniel Smith. There you go, Daniel. $250 of break credit going your way. And this group is still part of tonight's promo if that last thing sells out. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.